down. Roadkill. I tried to warn you. <laughs> This time, on four sheets to the wind, we sailed a Cape Lookout to give Jim and Molly a little taste of the Atlantic before sending them on their way. And then it's time to get ready for our shove off into the Atlantic. As always, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, supporting. Your continuous encouragement means the world to us. be no sailing today. <laughs> Spinnaker sailing lunchtime. This is what it's all about, my friends. What do you think? Not too shabby. <laughs> Struggle bus? Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah, it's a cat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, ladies? Not too bad. Keep lookout for the night gonna anchor here and then send these guys on their way. I had to give them a little taste of the Atlantic before they left. With just over a week before our shove off into the Atlantic, it was time to start hunkering down and getting ready. While Kyle worked on major engine parts getting the oil changed and making sure we had enough spares, I set to work getting the supplies to keep us well fed. We anticipate the trip to take two weeks, but you always have to prepare for more. 
Kyle also worked on getting our SSB, our single sideband HF radio, up and going so that we could get the weather. We used a combination of sail mail and the Pactor modem to request weather grip files via email. A kind of archaic process, but it worked. Hi! Welcome to Halloween Day! <laughs> All this planning and prepping had us a little bit stressed and stir crazy, so the wind came up and we both decided to play. With less than 24 hours to go, it's time for the absolute final stretch. We get all of our fuel and water tanks filled, and I set to work making meals. Anxious about the swell and the waves and crossing the Gulf Stream, I want to ensure that we have at least three days worth of supplies cooked and ready to eat. And with 24 hour notice, our good buddy and Kyle's climbing partner, Matt, flew down to join us for the long passage off into the Atlantic. We've got a busted winch. It's like 8 p.m. We're leaving tomorrow at 10 if we get the winch fixed. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> 